Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Davis here at home and we are going to be working on another Letterland unit. Yeah, we're working forward on unit 15 today. Now you see some characters up here and our, our new unit, unit 15, is going to have a lot of different words and word patterns. So today we're going to be focusing on just a few as we get started. Now. I want you to notice this card. It has Noisy Nick and Golden Girl. So we're gonna be focusing on when they walk together and the sound that they make. We're also, in this unit, gonna be thinking about Noisy Nick and Kicking King walking together as we work forward in our study. And so I have actually pulled down these two picture cards for us because that's going to be the heart and soul of what we're working on today. We're going to be thinking about Noisy Nick and Golden Girl and Noisy Nick and Golden Girl. Now let's focus on how they sound when they walk together because you might notice some musical notes above them and that's because they make a singing song when they walk together. So they almost make like a humming sound. So when we're doing normal humming, we sound like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You notice my lips are closed. But when these two walk together and you say their sound, you have to open your lips and you even have to put your tongue at the root of your mouth. So I'm gonna make their sound. I'm gonna practice it a couple times and then you can try it at home. Here's what they sound like when they're making their singing song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to really work on that. Now you try it. So we have our mouth open. We're kind of pulling out that singy song humming uh, noise that they make. Yeah, so we're really going to be focusing on that team today. We're going to involve Impy Ink also. And you might notice this picture card too because... Noisy Nick and Golden Girl also team up at the end of words in a magical way. And we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Now, I want to take you into a story in Letterland. If we were at school, we would be listening to the story, just like we're going to do. You guys have a seat at home. I'm going to read this story. It's going to contain... Mm, magic mm, okay so i want you to listen and look in letterland and really see if you can spy and hear pictures and words that have this sing song sound mm. all right here we go tune in those ears and those eyes when Noisy Nick and Golden Girl sit together in a word, they are so happy. They make a singing sound. Mm. It is a stunning spring day in Letterland, and Noisy Nick and Golden Girl are outside singing. As usual, Golden Girl is in her garden swing, and she looks like she is really enjoying herself. In fact, there are a lot of people enjoying themselves today. Look at everything happening. There is a lady painting, a girl sitting down reading and eating an ice cream, a boy running, a boy sliding, and there's kicking, king, kicking his football. Hang on, someone has dropped their ring. Can you see it shining in the long grass? The lady painting has a ring on her finger, so I wonder who this ring belongs to. Wow, I heard a lot of mm words, and I can see a lot of pictures that have words with that singing sound in it. Now I want to read one more little part to our lesson today and it has to do 
with this picture card because we've got some magic going on. So let me read you about when Noisy Nick and Golden Girl team up with Envy Ink and they are magical. You will often see Noisy Nick and Golden Girl in the ending. This is a magic ending. After Mr. E invented his magic ease, he took his hat off and rested it on an ing ending. His hat was still full of magic, so ing became magical too. Mr. E thinks it is an exciting magical ending. So you can notice in this picture card, you've got Noisy Nick and Golden Girl and their little musical notes because they still say ing, but we're thinking about how this is a magical ending. So sometimes this team works together to actually build a word. It's part of a word. It becomes a pattern in a word. And then sometimes it becomes magical and it works at the end of whole words. So that's our focus today. Now, let me grab some words and let's get started. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be thinking about Noisy Nick and Golden Girl and MP Inc. working together inside of a word, building it, forming a rhyming pattern. And then we're going to think of some words that are actually whole words that have this magic ending and that's how that team is working in a different way. All right, let's get started. Let's take a look at a few words. So my first word is this one, and I'm actually gonna cover up ing, because I want you to notice if I'm looking at this word, I only see the letter S, and I realize that's just a, a sound. It's just one letter, it's not a word. So I'm realizing in this word, the ing is actually part of the word. I see Sammy, s, i, ng, and I know that this is the word sing. Yeah, it's the word sing. Say it with me, sing. And I can put it under this category because it is actually part of the word. It's helping build it. Let's look at another word. We're still thinking about Noisy Nick and Golden Girl and how they work together in their sing-song way with Inky Ink. All right, I cover up ing. I see a K. K is not a word. So I know that this team is actually helping form this word. So I've got K, I, N. The word is King. Yeah, read it with me. King. All right, and I'm going to put that in this column. All right, let's look at another word. I see a W, which is not a word, it's a letter. So I'm realizing that ing is helping to build this word. U, I, N, wing. Right. Let me put it with this group of words. And I know you're noticing a pattern here in all of these words. Got a few more. I'm covering up the ing. Ooh, here's a, bl a blend at the beginning. I see b, r, I, n, ring. Yeah, this team is forming this word. This is the word bring. Let me put that, let's scoot these over just a little bit. That way we can get all of the words. I have one more in this little category. Now I see Talking Tess and Harry Hatman, and I know they make two sounds. In this word, they're making their unvoiced or quiet sound. Say that sound with me. And then I have empty ink. I, mm. There's that sing-song sound with this team. If I put all these sounds together and form this word, it would be the word thing. Good. Now read it again with me. Thing. 
Now, if you're noticing this collection, I know you've noticed that we have the same pattern at the end of all of these words. So we just built a rhyming family. Let's read this rhyming family with Impy Ink and the mm combination here. Sing, king, wing, bring, and thing. Now let's hip hop over here to our magical ing when it becomes an ending. So we're going to take a look at some whole words that have the magic ing on the end. All right, let's take a look at our first one. Now I'm going to cover up the ing just like I did on the last ones. Okay, ooh, now I notice there's not just one letter or two letters, but there's actually a group of letters that form a word. This is the word rest, rest. And I also not notice that that magic ending is on the end, the ing. So now I realize that even though this is a really long word and it might be at first glance a word that I think, oh, I don't think I can read that now with our knowledge of realizing that the magic ing can be at the end of whole words, we can just realize that this is the word resting. Resting, we can just add that magic ing and just read that word right on. Now by gaining this knowledge, we can be more confident when we see really long words with ing on the end. So this becomes the word resting. And I could use it in a sentence like this, the girl is resting in her room. So when I add that magic ing onto the word rest, it helps me with certain sentences so that they sound right. Okay, I'm gonna put that in this category. Let's get another one. Here's our next one. If I cover up the magic ing, I can see that there's actually a whole word. I can see a blend, fool, fool. And then remember when yellow yo-yo man becomes an I sound taking ice cream man's place at the end of words to help him out. So now I know that this is the word fly. And then if I add ing to it, flying. The pilot is flying an airplane today. So I know this magic ing just helps me build this word so that it can sound better in certain sentences. All right, let me put it right here. Okay, I've got one more. I'm going to cover up magic ing here and I can see a blend. K -r there's yellow yo-yo man saying that I sound at the end cry cry and then if I add the magic ing it's crying the little boy was crying after he fell down crying well I am so glad that I have been working today with two different ways that I can see the team mm, when they're working in words. Let's review. We've been thinking about Noisy Nick and Golden Girl when they walk with Impy Ink and they actually build a word and create a rhyming pattern. And then we've also realized that they can join up together at the end of whole words and they're magical and now they become an ending at the end of whole words wow with that knowledge it not only helps me become a better reader but also a better speller now here's some more practice i want you to do on your own so i'm going to grab my spiral and i am going to turn it in a tall tower way and I'm going to get just a little bit closer so you can see what I've already done on my spiral. So I went ahead, I took a pencil and I divided this whole 
sheet into two parts, two halves. On one half, I put the ing, and I've got the little sing-song notes when Golden Girl, uh, Noisy Nick and Golden Girl walk together, and they're building the word. They're actually part of the word, and they use their sing-song sound, mm, okay, and I just put the little musical notes, and I also labeled, I said, forms a word. That just reminds me of my work on this side, and then here I've got ing, and I put the little uh, magic hat on and the magical wand with the magic coming out just to remind me that sometimes this team works together at the end of whole words and becomes an ending. Mm. Okay, so you're going to label your spiral this way. And then what I'd like you to do is make a list of words. So all of the words that we put in this column that actually have Noisy Nick and Golden Girl and MP Ink forming a rhyming pattern, a whole word. Those you're going to include, and there's five of them. And then on this side, we were thinking about when that becomes a magic ending. And we have three words that we had that had the magic ending on them. So I just want you to make a list of those words. And then on the back, I'm going to turn my spiral now this way. I'm going to divide it into two equal halves because I'm going to write two sentences. This half will be for one sentence and this half will be for another sentence. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one word from this group and then one word from this collection. And I've done a model for you. So this one says, the king was on his throne, all right? And I underlined the word king because that's the word I'm using. And then for the bottom one, I said, a bird is flying in the sky. I'm underlining the word flying in that one. Okay. And of course, I want to think about good sentence writing skills because when you're doing written communication, you want it to be neat and readable. You're starting both sentences with capital letters and you're spacing white spaces in between each word. Of course, we need to put ending punctuation. And our new challenge from last week was we were thinking about only starting our sentences or not starting any of our sentences with the word I. And we want to create sentences that have at least five words. Yeah, we're moving up in our skills. Well, we've got this, we can do this. So you're picking a word and a word. You're going to use those words in sentences, underline, and use your good handwriting skills so your sentences look great. All right, you've got some work to do. And as always, of course, take pictures and show me your work. You've got two jobs that you're working on. All right, Letterlanders, until our next lesson, as always, have a good one.